Hello, beautiful Pisces, and welcome to our June 2021 reading. Such an interesting month. Uh, how are you all adjusting to having Jupiter in your sign? I love this energy. Uh, working with the magic of how things work from the Piscean perspective is really, really cool. Challenges, a lot of cultural norms. Uh, love it. This is such an interesting, magical... Um, inner seeking month for everyone uh, it's really about going on the wildest journey of all which is the one inside and going through that jungle and finding what is there and in your case there's a couple big themes that come up right away um, we're working with all this energy in gemini the north node is there we have a solar eclipse in gemini and on the 10th we have mercury retrograde in gemini and of course the sun moving through gemini so we're working with all this energy that's another mutable sign like you and this is going to be amplifying our healing with the inner mother and working with the magic of the inner mother you may already have a very strong inner mother an inner mothering inner parenting healthy relationship where in which case this is just going to be an amplified time where that wisdom can really help you if you are somebody who struggles with inner parent especially inner mothering this is going to be a time of healing, integration, and empowerment in that area, which I really love. I think inner parent dynamics, it's like one of the most effective ways if you want to feel more courageous and hopeful in life to, to do just that. Um, but another theme that's coming up is we have Jupiter and Neptune in your science, and they're moving retrograde this month. So this is going to be about integrating working with the internal magic i mean it just amplifies what we've been talking about i think for months like all of 2021 every time i come to sit and talk with pisces i talk about how important your energy is and how much this year is about you leaning more into the way that you create instead of trying to abandon it or suppress it or like shame it and i think this this neptune jupiter retrograde going through your sign is going to just amplify that more so we've got these really strong amplifications around the inner mother your creative magic also by the end of this month we hit the solstice we hit cancer season so exciting we're also going to be getting a huge infusion of energy as we move the cancer season of your heart energy um Finally, we have Venus and Mars eventually moving into Leo this month. This is going to be about the day-to-day -day and how we honor all this that I'm talking about, all this the deep mystery, the deep mothering, the deep creative process from the hidden, the unseen, how we play that out in the physical, how we play that out in our lives. Do we honor it or do we turn around and start doing things we don't mean, right? So this month is powerful. Uh, it is for Pisces about feeling safe inside, feeling safe with yourself. So important. I feel like it's so easy to gloss over that. It's so easy. Oh yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm with myself all the time. Oh my gosh. We ever just check in sometimes we don't feel that safe with ourselves sometimes our, our inner parents are a little disordered or where the inner dictator has gotten a little out of hand and is being very aggressive very nitpicky very willing to say hurtful mean things to try and control the dialogue and so three cards wanted to come out so <laughs> we're doing it and I, they're fun the moon the six of wands and the ace of wands Ooh, i like that a lot pull one more card um but yeah there's so much there's so much power in just checking in on on those things i know i know i need to check in on my whole little family inside all the time i have an inner dictator that's very vocal um, loves to get involved, but I have been slowly working on deposing that dictator. I mean, we're just trying to give that dictator more rest time, you know, like in the back room, like here's a nap, like just, just go, go chill, you know? Um, oh, page of cups. I love it. Mm. Wow. Pisces. Hello. You have one of the most peaceful nourishing readings of the month of everybody else 
it's very hopeful. It's very light and playful. I like that. And once again, what was I just saying? There's this amplification of the natural Piscean energy. So if you work with Piscean energy, you have Piscean energy in your chart. This is a part of like the way you work. You are going to be feeling better because there's an amplification of just that here. Now it is a time of integration. It is a time of deep self honesty. The moon shows up right away. Our emotions are such useful guidance tools for where we're feeling jangled, where we're feeling out, like we're stepping against ourselves, where we are crossing our own boundaries, where we are also feeling or releasing, right? The moon is such powerful energy. Also, the moon is about acknowledging something that we have locked inside of us, a secret, a hidden aspect of ourselves that maybe we are longing to bring more into fruition, into the light. Um, we don't want to spend too long in moon energy, right? Because we can get lost. We can get lost back there. Uh, just floating along, right? But I do think moon energy is one of the fastest ways for us to get great answers. And you already know this because this is water logic, right? This is, I don't want to use the word logic. This is like water creativity. Water creativity, as you all know, like you're living it. Water creativity is all about the feeling state being the way through which we do anything else, right? Um, so moon right away, it's like trust what you're feeling. Just listen to that, follow it. Intuition, right? That ability to no, without analyzing, without overthinking, without listening to the inner dictator, but you have so little inner dictator here. I mean, we're not, that's not really going to be your challenge this month, interestingly enough. Uh, because, I mean, we have some forward motion, my friends. Six of wands, ace of wands. Now, this is very high energy. Um, this is like persevering through the storm. Like you've made it to the other side of some kind of challenge, some kind of growth right and it kind of makes sense you know this is a month of the solstice and i find solstices are really great check-in points right like whether well if you're close to the equator obviously you're going to be having <laughs> similar light but for most of us we live further away from the equator so we're we're having either the least amount of light or the most amount of light during this time and it's such a beautiful time to notice how we've changed and incorporate and if you've just spent the last six months growing changing persevering through things this energy is about like understanding that you have persevered and there are open doors and there are new adventures and i think it's important to to follow the things that you feel lighthearted about playful about hopeful about and let yourself have that playfulness. Let yourself have that hopefulness and that buoyancy of spirit and that curiosity and that joy. These are action-oriented cards, actually. So it's really funny, remember? Because I've been saying for so long, like, it's not about the action. It's about <laughs> hearing, you know, the deep call inside and I just relaxing into that. But see, that's what but that's what's so interesting. As soon as we stop putting pressure on the action, as soon as we stop putting pressure on forcing things to happen, we lean back into that space. I can just even feel it like the pressure leaving my body. Things move, things start moving. I'm even looking at my notes for you guys because it said, what does creative courage and boldness from a place of beyond containers and deep within the knowing look like creative courage to me that's the courage to be with ourselves and to hear it way beyond the containers way beyond the expectations we've placed on ourselves way beyond the expectations others have placed on ourselves way beyond our trauma-based containers that we put ourselves in way beyond um, our little mythologies that we've made about ourselves being good at leaving or good at staying or needing this or negative about this right all those things we say about ourselves what does that look like it looks like creative boldness things just happen we start taking steps so you're being asked to be bold but once again with the caveat that it has to come from this inner knowing right here otherwise it may feel a little you'll notice you'll notice 
you'll know when you're trying to take action and you're trying to take steps that are like forced because you'll feel right away like it will just not happen i remember there was i went through a phase where i was like i'm determined like if i want to do something i'm going to do it even just for silly things you guys uh like a couple years ago i was hanging out with my friend and we were staying in this place in southern california and i really had this idea that we were gonna ride our bikes <laughs> to town like we were gonna ride this little downtown area and i was like we're doing it and i mean every step of the way there were things just stopping us like we got nowhere like first one of the bikes the tire wouldn't pump up we couldn't find the bike lock um, then we were trying to find this bike shop to help fix it it was locked and closed we tried to ask somebody some for directions i mean it was crazy everything was yelling at me like sarah put the bikes away and i didn't realize like how crazy this plan would have been to ride the bikes until we just we decided to just go on a long walk there it was like where you had to ride your bikes this is in this crazy commuter lane on a really busy freeway like highway and all the bikes on it were people who clearly ride their bikes regularly because they had on the gear, they were going so fast. I mean, uphill too, they were going so fast. And I'm like, I haven't ridden bikes for like long stretches of time for a long time, definitely not there. And these were old rusty clunky bikes and we're walking and I'm looking over at that lane and I'm thinking if I had forced my way through that, like this would have not been a fun adventure for me. And like. Yes, literally, I could have done it, but it was definitely a le it's an like example of when we are trying to force ourselves to do everything right. So that's a sign, okay, like take a breath, doesn't have to happen. But for the things that feel good, for the things that are working, it works. Yes, you might have to make an extra phone call or what have you, but when you make the phone call, it works. Things get done, sorted, figured out, right? Okay, here's my little story time for taking action versus not taking action. We also have a page of cups and I like this a lot, um, especially as, I mean, most of June, Venus will actually be in Cancer in a very heart-based romantic ooey gooey sign. Um, page of cups is so hopeful, right? Like the, he's a news bringer and he brings emotional tidings that are nourishing, right? So that can be great news in your relationships and your family. That can be great news um, that emotionally supports you. And I love this. Uh, I think this is also speaking to the buoyancy of, of being in a space where you're really following your true heart's desires and you're following the things that feel good like this. Um, that's all that's asked of you. Follow what feels good. I know the detractors are going to say, what about the people who follow what feels good and it, it's about addiction and manipulating other people and hurting other people, right? All that stuff. I'll, I'll tell you right now, like, that's not an example of feeling good. Those are people, that's, those are painful places to be. Feeling good is not going to be about excess. It's not going to be about manipulation for sure. It's not going to be about eating like a mountain of cake and burning things down. You know, feeling, doing what feels good is going to be about taking a breath and feeling like you can breathe. It's going to be about doing creative projects you mean. It's going to be about being honest with yourself. Those things feel good. Those are your priorities, always 100%. And this month's cards, I think, just speak to that. So if you ever get a voice that's like, well, you know, if you're, if you're just following what feels good to you, if you're just following what nourishes you, then you're missing something, question that voice. Because it goes back to remember how we're supposed to be activating the inner mother, the inner nurturer the inner wise woman who can show us the way, who makes us feel safe enough to be ourselves in life, that voice will never say that to you. That voice will never be making deals with you like that. That voice will say, hey, let's try this. It's exciting. It makes me curious. Hey, let's express this need. Let's express this boundary. That's exciting. It feels good. That's the voice we're gonna want to be focusing on. And I do think with this Mercury in retrograde, it's a very important time 
to really differentiate between these voices and get really clear. And I would say the number one thing to do when you have a voice and you're not sure what voice function the voice is playing, write it down and see and let it rip. You'll notice a voice that is very caustic, scared, worried, stressed, controlling, it's going to come across that way and it's going to come across kind of creepy. <laughs> a voice that's hopeful and supporting you is going to come across with very simple wisdom. It's not going to be asking you to like flip over everything. It's going to be asking you to take steps that feel good. It's going to be saying, hey, you know you want to explore this. What would happen if we just asked a question? And so we really want to be clear on that this month. Okay, I love the cards you have, Pisces. I love being on the Pisces bandwagon. I'm always striving to activate more and more Piscean energy in myself because I think it really is one of the best places to be. It's one of the best places to get good information. Um, I will be offering so much extra support on my Patreon. It's a beautiful community. I would really love to see you there. It's a great way to support me so that I can keep bringing this gorgeous space to you guys here on YouTube. Um, it's also just a great place for me to support you. So it's a really great space. Um, you can find me on my website, on Instagram. I'll leave all my links in the description box as well as Pink Loon's gorgeous jewelry and her Etsy shop. Um, I love you guys. I hope you have a beautiful June, a beautiful solstice. Take very good care of yourselves and I'll see you in July for more cancer season magic.